What's going on guys, this is Snoob603 and Fake Thriller, and welcome to another episode of our Battlefield 3 weapon reviews. Today, we're looking at the L85A2. This gun is available only for the Assault class, and it is unlocked after completing the secondary Back to Karkin Challenge, Professional Russian, which requires you to kill 100 enemies while using the Assault Kit, as well as kill 20 enemies with the Grenade Launcher, and in addition, you have to win 5 rounds of Squad Deathmatch. Little weapon info for you guys on the L85A2. The nation of origin is Great Britain. The magazine capacity is 30 rounds plus one in the chamber. The fire rate is a low 650 rounds per minute. The fire type is full auto, burst fire, and semi-auto. The reload time is 2.8 seconds with a bullet chambered and 3.4 seconds with a completely empty magazine. As for the damage stats for this weapon, as of now, they are 25 hit points of damage per bullet at 8 meters and trailed down to 17 hit points of damage per bullet at 50 meters. A quick side note, patch notes were just released that could possibly buff this gun along with other assault rifles up to a minimum damage of 18 points. Four hit points of damage per bullet. This gun is really tricky because once you start using it, you'll feel like you're using a gun that is a lot better than its stats will lead you to believe. With a slightly lower than average fire rate, standard assault rifle damage stats, and average reload times, the gun would lead you to believe it's just that, average. But once you get a few kills with it, the gun feels like it has stats that are all above average. There are a ton of different attachments available for this gun, so you can set it up to work with just about any playstyle. I found it worked perfectly fine while running gunning, holding down areas against a heavy attack, or even suppressing from long range. My preferred attachments to this gun vary depending on what exactly I'm going up against. If I'm playing against a really good team that's really good about spreading out, covering the entire map side to side, then what I'll end up doing is going with the holographic sight, foregrip, and either laser sight if I'm right up front, or a heavy barrel if I'm going to sit back a little bit and try and suppress from longer range. If it's a weaker team, I'll swap out for a suppressor so I can get in, get behind them, work my flanks, and do the maximum amount of damage while being as inconspicuous as possible. I'm going to give this gun a 5 out of 5. I can't really find anything to fault this gun with. It's just an all-around solid weapon. The L85A2 is a fantastic gun. Looking at the stats for this weapon, nothing really jumps out. The L85 sports a relatively low reload time than most of the guns available to the assault kit. The damage is standard assault rifle damage, uh, but it has a low rate of fire, and I think once again that this gun's ease of use comes from the fire rate. At 650 rounds per minute, the L85 can sustain fire longer, meaning more fire time between reloads. In addition, the timing between shots combined with the low recoil make aiming much easier. You won't get the insta-death kills that come from the F2000 or the FAMAS, but you will get solid calculated kills. The only place the L85 falls short is going to be in close quarters. Again, the rate of fire may hurt you in panic moments where you and your enemy are wildly hip-firing for the win. My preferred setup is the red dot sight, the foregrip, and the heavy barrel. I chose the heavy barrel because it reduces bullet spread, and when you're firing slower than most guns, you want the bullets to go where you're aiming, more than ever. My rating for the L85A2 is 4 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, it's going to wrap up another Shoosty Bang Battlefield 3 weapon reviews. Overall, the L85A2 earns a solid 4.5 out of 5 stars. Do us a favor and leave a comment down below as to what weapon you'd like to see us review next. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash fake thriller and twitter.com slash snoo603.